It was August Kohler, an early member of the Carl Zeiss Corporation, who in 1893 developed the most important specimen lighting technique to date. Bearing his name, Kohler illumination is a method of optical alignment that helps the user produce an evenly illuminated visual field with good contrast and maximum sample detail. In this video, we'll cover Kohler illumination on the Axio Imager microscope. The Axio Imager is Zeiss's upright microscope intended for a wide range of academic and industrial applications. If your microscope is equipped with a Hal lamp housing, be sure that you have aligned the Hal bulb before setting up Kohler. This process is covered in the companion video, How to Align and Focus Your Hal Lamp for Kohler Illumination. 1. Switch on the imager via the power supply and power button. 2. Adjust the lamp brightness to a comfortable level by turning the rotary dial clockwise. If no light is reaching the sample, press the TL button if available. 3. Set the correct interpupillary distance for your eyes and adjust the diopter setting appropriately. Use the red dot if a reticle is used. You should be able to comfortably view the sample with both eyes. 4. Lower the stage by rotating the focus knobs or pressing the load position button on the attached touchscreen. Place your high contrast stained specimen face up on the stage. The cover slip should face towards the objective. 5. Swing in the front lens of the condenser if not already in place. Raise the condenser by turning the condenser focus knob. The upper stop should be low enough that the specimen does not get pushed out of place by the front lens. Look directly at the stage while doing this, not through the eyepieces. 6. If the condenser allows for multiple contrast methods, set the current method to H for bright field. Sometimes this is labeled BF. Also make sure that your reflector turret is set to an empty or bright field position. 7. Swing on the 10x objective, or whichever lens you are using. Proper color can only be set up for magnifications of 10x and greater. Focus on your specimen using the focus knobs. Color alignment is based off of this objective focus. Make sure that your sample remains in focus for the rest of the alignment steps. 8. Close the field diaphragm until the blades, in focus or not, come into the field of view. Locate the control marked F near the base of the stand. Roll the wheel downward or press and hold the lower button. The field diaphragm controls the beam diameter of your lighting. 9. While looking through the eyepieces, lower the condenser by rotating the condenser focus knob until the field diaphragm blades come into focus. 10. Center the field diaphragm using the centering screws under the condenser. Reopen the diaphragm by rolling the F wheel up or press the up button in a stepwise fashion. Open it until the images of the blade just leave the field of view. 11. Remove one eyepiece. While looking down the binocular tube, close the aperture diaphragm, located on the condenser, to about two-thirds the size of the illuminated view. Replace the eyepiece when complete. Setting the aperture diaphragm opening too small will steal resolution from your image. Never use this diaphragm to control the brightness of your illumination. Use neutral density filters instead. Your microscope is now set up correctly for a range of transmitted light techniques. When changing magnification, be sure to recolor the microscope for optimal viewing at that level.